Happy Friday, everybody. My name is Josh Webster, and I am the director of the Rock and Wax Stars team out of Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, and I'm super excited to be here to talk to you guys. Um, I've been watching along and seeing y'all's journey. And th those of you who have promoted to lead consultant already, congratulations. If you haven't quite made it there yet, you still have two weeks left to grab it, to get that bonus in December. And um, I am rooting for you. <clears throat> so I was invited to talk a little bit about what to do once you have new teamies join your team. And if you don't have a team yet, what to do to get one. So I'm going to share with you what I do with my new teamies. I've had a lot of success with recruiting and um, earning annual mentor for last year. And I am almost there this year and I still have until April to grab that up. So I'm gonna get it again. So the first thing that I do once they sign up, if I haven't already been talking to them, cause every once in a while you'll have those who join your team just out of the middle of nowhere. You wanna make sure that you welcome them to your team. Let them know that you're excited for them and they should be excited too because excitement is contagious. <clears throat> so once you do that, you wanna go ahead and shout them out. Shout them out on your Facebook, tag them in it add them to your team page, add them to your team chat, whatever you have. If you don't have one at that point, you probably should start thinking about grabbing your own team page or team chat because you're a leader at that point. And um, so do the things that leaders do. Um, anyway, once you do that and you're shouting them out and you're making them feel welcome, then that makes them feel as if they're part of something bigger than themselves, um, that they're excited about it, that they have a community that they can come to, um, and you never know, that might be exactly the reason that somebody joins your team. So make them feel like they're a part of something bigger. And they are, because Sensi is such a great company to work for. After that, you wanna go ahead and get them logged into the workstation and get them started on that um, first things first checklist. Make sure they're actually doing the checklist instead of just marking off the little circle saying that they did it because that is set in place by Sensi to help kick start them in their business. It's there for a reason. Um, and get them start uh, set to set up their own party link because you want them to experience absolutely everything that Sensi has to offer for consultants. So you want them to get all the rewards, all that good stuff. And then start them a launch party. Um, Either you can do the launch party for them. I do the launch parties for all of my new team members because I feel as if uh, that gets them set up for success a little bit quicker. If you're not the type who wants to set up the launch parties and do it for them, then go ahead and help them get one set up for themselves and guide them in the direction on what to do to do their own launch party. Um, I start my new teamies out with small goals. So, and I use the goals that Sensi already has set in place, like shooting star. So as soon as we get all that other stuff done, I tell them you have 15 days to get to 500 PRV to earn your first award. So that is their goal. Once we hit that, then we move to certified and I, let, I try to get them to certified in their first 30 days. That way they're making the 25% off of all of their sales for that, all their PRV for that month. But at the same time as I'm trying to get them to certified, I also tell them to go ahead and start thinking about somebody or somebody's that they could bring on this journey with them to learn and to do it together. So I'm already having them start to think about recruiting because once you start recruiting, especially if you're brand new in your, in your first 70 days <coughs> with a sensational start, excuse me, once those re new recruits get to active, then they're autom automatically at sensational start level one. And that's how I do it. So I set first shooting star certified start recruiting so they can get sensational start level one, sensational start level two, and then say sensational start level three. So you wanna be with them, especially work very closely with them in their first 70 days. That way they can hit all the new stuff, or all, not all the new stuff, but, <coughs> excuse me, my throat gets really dry whenever I'm talking a lot. So you wanna work closely with them in their first 70 days 
to help them earn all of the awards because who doesn't like to earn awards, right? And that sets them up for success. So if they earn that sensational start level three, then most likely they're already sitting at a star consultant. So you have helped them get halfway to director. So again, work very closely with them, cheer them on and shout them out on every achievement they make. If they're active for the month, shout them out somewhere. Once they hit that shooting star, shout them out. Once they hit certified, shout them out. That helps a lot of people love recognition. I love recognition. Even if I have to give it to myself, I don't care. I'm going to shout myself out from the rooftops because if I accomplish something, <clears throat> I want people to know about it. That also helps for people to join your team as well. So that's what I do with my new teamies. I don't necessarily spoon feed them but I coach them and I guide them in the right direction to be able to answer their own questions. I send them to the workstation to find stuff um, on the, uh, the news tab. There's plenty of trainings there, but I have found that with new teamies, their best friends in the whole wide world is gonna be the, new cons the uh, consultant guide and a catalog because they can pretty much answer most of their questions from those two things right there. So that's what I do when I have somebody join my team. Now, if you guys don't have a team yet and you're trying to get that team, what should you do? It's very, very simple. It's so simple that it's hard to believe. So all you have to do to find a new team is to simply ask. That's it. Ask people to join your team. Not necessarily in those words because that's kind of icky to just go into somebody's private message or say, hey, you want to join my team? Don't do it like that. But there are many, many other ways that you can ask people to join without saying just join my team. Um, example, have you ever thought about um, doing what I do? Uh, would you like to make some extra side cash? Um, have you ever thought about working from your phone? Anything like that. So it's very simple, just you literally have to ask. Uh, you can make those posts, but a lot of times people, y'all see this light, I'm in my car on my lunch break at work and the sun is shining off of a car right in front of me, so it's kind of blinding me. But uh, you can make those posts on Facebook and all that good stuff and send out the emails or whatever, but there's a chance that most people are not seeing it. Uh, so posting and praying about it, it really doesn't work. Every once in a while it might, but you have to build relationships with people so they like and trust you and they will join your team. Um, Flip parties. If you're not party, partying, then you very you should be because Cincy is a party-based company. Uh, they're for a reason to meet new people. The more people that you meet, the more chances you have of growing your own team and the more people that you have to talk to and ask. Um, so if somebody hosts a party for you and they hit that $200 mark, guess what? You have a host kit available. I give out a ton of host kits. That's how probably 90% of my team has come to me is from host kits. Either from them hosting a party and then joining either for a discount or for free or my own party links. I either give a discounted kit or a free kit. You can't say free unless it's one-on-one, um, -on -one, but you can call it a no out-of-pocket cost kit and do that but that's how 90 percent of my team has come um, is either by flipping parties or using that host kit so if you haven't used the host kit yet to join somebody look it up if you don't know how to there's tons of trainings on it look on the workstation there's one there uh, there's YouTube videos all that good stuff ask your upline you can reach out to me I'll be glad to help you as well 
And the last thing that I have on how to get people to join your team is show everybody the good. Just like I told you to shout your new teamies out, shout yourself out. If you get an award, let people know you got an award. If you have $150 in host credits and five half off items, take a screenshot of that party on your workstation and post it. Make sure you use the income disclosure statement and just post it and say, woohoo, you know, Cincy consultants get to all these rewards and stuff too. I post my paycheck every month income disclosure statement, don't forget, to show people that this is not a scam. MLMs actually work for people and you can make money at it. I post all of the stuff that I'm using. Just show people that you're excited, that you love what you do and just share. That's it. So ask, party, use those host kits and show people the good. That is what I have done to have the most success with recruiting and growing my team. So if you have any questions or you would like to know anything else or anything more about it, feel free to reach out to me. I am an open book. I do not mind helping anybody. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and good luck.